Iwami. I remember somebody on my YouTube channel said, like, Trendless, can you play Iwami? And I'm like, yeah, let's go. Why not? Some to weep, I can't remember the name. So we're just gonna make his fantasies and wishes come true by playing an Iwami. Iwami. We're gonna play it like a normal battleship though and not a secondary built one like most people do with the ship. By G is an Izumo? Yes, pretty much. It has better Sigma but longer reload. I personally prefer Izumo for the reload because Izumo is more than accurate enough. But yeah, the extra Sigma can give you some sometimes a few better volleys. But overall, all for good chips. Yeah. I don't like this cam. Actually I do, but Bleh. okay now we go this. That looked even more atrocious. Run data flag, nothing will happen. Nah, I will run data flag. I'm not risking it, bro. I'm just not gonna risk it. Hola, how are you doing, my friend? <laughs> Bullying some poor people in Company of Heroes still. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We're gonna go see Cap now, boys. Let's go. What's the reload on our 20 cam tops? 150 seconds, so three and a half minutes, okay. Yeah, 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 Iwami, Iwami, let's go. Okay, good, everything's ready here. Mr. Mars! Yes! Actually, first let's go for the Bismarck. And then we're gonna get ready for the Mars because he's gonna be spotted still quite some, some time. He has pretty bad detection range and Jervis is just gonna spot him. Okay, maybe not. Is he smoking up? Oh, Jervis smoked. Oh, Jervis, why would you smoke up in that scenario? You didn't really have to risk a lot. And mask and hydro him. Oh man. Uh, 
and Annapolis. What is this maneuver? Back to port. Back to Overpen City, never mind. Kind of afraid to shoot the shores with AP. It's gonna be Overpens as well, I think. Oh, that's gonna be Spank. Oh, three hits, let's go. You said the carrier is getting stronger the more close uh, the Shikishima came. Why? It's easy. I could have. Lo Didn't you notice? How fast I could launch attack after attack after attack? That's that's the disgusting part. I could like, like launch attack, go back, launch attack, go back, launch go like that's the thing what I mean. The attack circles are just so much faster in close combat. And I never got deplaned, not in a single category. That's why it's way stronger in brawling. You can just launch planes after planes after planes. This is why Nahimov is so disgusting if it gets a good, a good early position and can just launch planes after planes. And we're talking like three times the amount of damage for the same time. Also, interesting Annapolis player. Indianapolis player. He wants to role play, so his ship is going down here and the nuke drops in the water. Ay, 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 ay. Why is the Charles not shooting? Why is the Charles torping? Why would you torp in that scenario? Why would you torp in that scenario? You should have just used your main guns with AP and you had that kill. But now? No, now my secondary's got it. Interesting, to say at least. <laughs> Interesting. Good. Mr. Bismarck, keep broad setting like this. Trend us like that. Must torp. Yeah, I don't know why in these situations people tend to just use torps. What? Why? There's no reason. Main guns are always more consistent than torps. Torps are a last resort option. If you would have full, been full HP, I would have first dropped my main guns and then used the torps. Even then, but still, I would have used the torps. But now, with that guy being so low, no. Why should you use torps? Like, must torp. Yeah, must torp syndrome. It's such a common mistake for beginners in this game. And even for people with like 10k games, they just rely way too much on torps. Same with Shimas. They never use their guns, or like most of them, which is a shame. Because you could do so much additional damage with the guns. But again, must torp syndrome. Also, I think that Bismarck might be out there as well. Beautiful. <sighs> like I'm not joking, it's mostly IGN, like Wogging says the torpedo boats, and they're right, they're not gunboats at all, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't use the guns, like, hello, bro? It's an additional damage source, not to mention the Chima guns hit quite hard, they have like insanely good alpha, honestly. One thing about the Wami what's great is the firing angles are disgustingly good. Look at this. We can be fully angled while using all guns. I'm gonna slow down here a bit. We don't need to overextend yet. Reload Assault's not bad? No, it's not. Iwami's not a bad ship to voice. It's not particularly amazing, but it's not a bad ship. You can make it work. Just in case he goes there. Also that Izumo is kiting me, so he's in a better situation. On the plus end though, we can just go dark. 
What's our concealment? 12 point something, right? 12.9, okay. So one more salvo and then we should be able to go dark. Actually, I'm gonna wait here. We're not gonna fire. We're gonna go dark. So we can go towards C cap. If we get a fire, we're gonna damage on it. And we're dark. Beautiful. That fire is going to be damage count purely because we don't want to be spotted. And now we're going to move towards C and help against the Chimant in the middle in the shores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it goes, boys. There's no point in chasing free battleships and also nice, interesting Blightfire. But there's no point in chasing free battleships. It's just going to be my initial death. Essential death. So what we're going to do is we rather go C and defend against these people. Also, that dude is very persistent in going for me. He must really hate me for whatever reason. Rather shooting me blindly three, three volleys in a row than actually going for enemies that are spotted. Very interesting. Well, there you are, buddy. Good prediction on NC? Yeah, very good prediction. Kill stream, I am. Well, this is what we call overmatch. I wonder if he knows if I can lob over there. I don't think he knows. Oh, rip him, maybe. Yep. It's the third kill. Also, classic, classic, classic mistake by the enemy team. You see what they do? They move in one by one and we can just cherry pick them. They're not pushing as one big force. They go in one by one and just throw the ships away. Which is a very bit play. Meanwhile, I'm in a position where I can just go dark whenever I want. Our Jervis is suicidal against the Cleveland though, currently. So we're gonna try to help him. Hopefully he can survive the Cleveland. I'd love to keep him alive. Okay, good. Confederate. Okay, he's dead, but I think we're gonna get the Cleveland as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the Cleveland as well. One more than one overpin should be here. Yeah. Should be possible. Now we're gonna go sit up. <laughs> now I don't especially think we can damage the Sinob a lot, but just when we hit him, it's all also a reset on the cap, so that's good enough for me. And if we hit him in the back or front, it might actually be damage as well. No. But it's a reset. Just good enough for me. Decent salvo. Also, we should not beach here, honestly. Unless the islands are really badly coded.
Okay, he's paying attention. Kanai is now in Kano having a standoff, okay. Would have loved to get the shot off a tiny bit earlier here. Let's see if we can help nice now against that Kano real quick. Which is full broadside for me. One Citadel would be already enough. Two pens as well. Beautiful. And this might be our Kraken. Beautiful. Oh! I forgot! <laughs> nice! We have Yamamoto on the ship now. Hell yeah, brother! Oh. Let me know, 6 skill. Ah, I forgot. Now we have a decent reload. What's the reload? 15 seconds. Lol. That is pretty good. And we can still use it a tiny bit. He's gonna go... No way though, so we're just gonna use HE now. I change see HE is pretty bad. Oh, actually we're gonna torp him. Oh my god, we're actually gonna torp him. <laughs> <laughs> we actually torped him. Okay, never mind. Okay. That drop came unexpected on him. He's probably thinking to himself, why is that BB shooting so fast? But that's how it is, bro. That's how it is with my Kraken now and Yamamoto. That's how it goes, brother. What's the citadel damage? 12k, nearly 13, okay, so we need more than, than, than this on the NC. Oh, good. Okay, that's number 7. Not bad. The guy who asked for a Yuami game on YouTube will be happy. <laughs> he will be very happy. one I'm gonna slow down here no ah seven not bad stay hydrated yeah I will in a second brother 
GG. 216k damage, 7 destroyed, close quarters, Kraken unleashed, high caliber and confederate. First in the team and GG, that's Iwami for you. It's not a bad ship, you saw it, it's not really not a bad ship. But again, more of a ranged focus ship, like all uh, Japanese battleships, but pretty, pretty good ship. Like what people underrate on this ship is, you have insanely good firing angles while having pretty decent reload and that's what makes it kind of great. It's not bad, it's 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 a tier 9 ship I would recommend. You can see it works perfectly fine, it's not busted or broken, but it's good. And it's not terrible like I don't know what we have on tier 9 that's terrible as a premium. We have a terrible tier 9 premium actually. Yeah, Schroeder. <laughs> Good. Guys, I'll quickly go to the toilet.